on the chop. Two shots. Duke with 10 team fouls. It's a double bonus the rest of the way. Such a solid player. Went to the line over 200 times this year, shooting 70%. There's no weakness in this man's game. He's a drama minor at Arkansas, and it will be great theater the rest of the way. Arkansas leads 65-63. Hill for the tie. Clark saves it. Capel, 65 all. He really has that bounce step, doesn't he? He goes in there, gets the jump stop, goes right back up, not afraid to go inside. At 6'5", he'll challenge the big fellas. And again, going back to what Coach Smith said, he's not a freshman anymore. Look at the strength of Williamson. They got it in underneath, and Williamson puts Arkansas back in front. 20 for Williamson. Dangerous pass. Capel, short, close. Out to Clark for the tie. Too quick. Last touch oh. by McDaniel. And here comes Cherokee. Cherokee will come in, an official's timeout under four minutes. Duke basketball when we come back. Well, each team has used a timeout. The arrow belongs to Arkansas. Duke led by 10 in this half. And then Arkansas came back to lead by six. Chris Collins then fired a couple of threes, Billy, to put Duke right back in it. What's the story the rest of the way? The story is, Jim, you said during that timeout, this may be the best game you've ever been involved with. And uh, I certainly have to agree with you. Two great teams, well coached, executing to perfection. 2-3 zone now by Arkansas. Let's see if Collins can find a hole. Corliss Williamson remembers where he came from last time. Ooh, tough pass. That's the freshman trying to do more than's there. And Capel was thinking the same thing we were, and that is Chris has got the hot hand getting the ball, but they've got to rotate that ball from Hill over. Arkansas Stewart partially blocked by Hill, but Williamson in one. Too strong. From a man that was the greatest high school player in Arkansas history, closing in to, you could say, the greatest college player, out distancing, distancing the great Sidney Moncrief, the way this guy's going. That was almost a Derek Wittenberg, Lorenzo Charles type three, right? That one partially deflected by Hill, really, in, in the end, hurts Duke. Yep. So Williamson for the three-point play, and Arkansas leads 70-65. And they stay in the 2-3 zone. Grand Hill's going to have to get the ball in the middle. Tough pass, but a reach-around call on Stewart. And that's the ninth on Arkansas, so it's a one-and-one one for Duke this last time. Jim, how unusual it is to look at this time in the game up at the scoreboard and see that Duke has committed more fouls than their opponent. Antonio Lang, part of this senior class. Lang, Hill, and Clark, 18 and one in the NCAAs in their career. Two national championships. Billy, it's been a long time since players had three championship Olaf crowns. Hollafield and Farmer from UCLA, the last to do it. Back in 1973, 15 for Lang tonight. Knocked down a couple of that time, and Arkansas with the ball. Leads by three with three minutes to go. Beck got around them. Blocked by Hill. Boy, what a defender he is. Capel blocked by Williamson. And Beck breaks free. Four on two. Thurman on the wing. Let's one player fly by. Long rebound to Parks. What a block. Two of them. Right. Our two superstars we featured at the top of the show getting it done on defense as well as offense. Williamson with that tremendous hustle and speed. The best transition for a big man I've seen in college ball. Capel. This would tie it. His feet weren't set. Thurman rebound. And who's down court already? Williamson waiting for the low post. 
He's in phenomenal shape, Billy Williamson. He is, and how about Nolan Richardson now saying, okay, Duke, you've used the strategy before to spread people out. Coach Dean Smith has seen this before, the fabled four corners. Final two minutes for the title. Five on the shot clock. Stewart. Well, the referees didn't realize it, I think. Grant Hill could have moved that ball up floor. That rebound by Hill gives him a career high. Now he goes for the tie and he gets it. Seventy seventy, one twenty to go. No. Timeout, Arkansas. Championship trophy backstage waiting to be hoisted in the air. Center stage. Game tied, 70 all, with 1-12 remaining. Little 1-4 set. Nolan Richardson did not spread it. Under 10 on the shot clock. Stewart's open. Stewart. One on the shot clock. Thurman beat it. Oh! He got it! Three-pointer! Huge arch on that. He had to do it to get it over Lang's hands. The shot clock went off Billy. As he released it, Collins now with a three. Not a good idea, Jim. Try to get it too quick. And if you foul, it's two shots. And there it is. They'll send McDaniel to the line for a couple. Scotty Thurman. Watch the arch he puts on this to get it over Lang, way above his normal arch, and drains it. And again, the shot clock elapsed as the ball was on its way, as long as it leaves the hand first. Correct. Then it must hit the rim, but in that particular case, it hit the rim inside. Duke looked uh, very unsettled at the other end. Now, I thought Collins he had a lot of time. He didn't need to take that quick three. McDaniel. McDaniel, who grew up in Tulsa, went to games at Tulsa when Richardson was the coach there. All the way back to the fifth grade, he knew he wanted to play for this man. Not one of them. Makes it a two-possession right. game, Billy. Right. They might as well go for two here, not worry about threes. Collins in the lane. Collins gets the lane. Rebound back. And he's fouled from behind by Lang. Marty Clark in for Lang, who has fouled out with 15. And Jim, his defensive play in trying to force Thurman to shoot that jumper just didn't get that. They shoot two here back. Ooh. Back at the line after getting the rebound at the other end. Now, Jim, still, if he hits this one, it's still a two possession game for Duke. A three and a two will get it there, but with two shot fouls, it makes it very difficult to stop that clock with a foul. But it's going to put Arkansas on the line for two more. And Beck has got a cut hand. Now, he has to come out of the game. They can put in any shooter they want. Any shooter on the Arkansas team can come in to shoot this free throw. Now, you go down the line. Might want to bring, like, a Dillard in. Well, Remach has got 78%. They're going to go down there and get the hand, the cut covered. So it has to be, be dressed. It's going to be Dillard. Yep. 
Dillard comes in to shoot the three. He's an 80% free throw shooter. 32 for 40. Has not taken as many shots as Remot. But uh, 80%, not bad. He'll shoot one. He'll shoot the second, what should have been Bex. So now Dillard comes right in and makes it a five-point lead. Still two will work. Capel takes the three, though. Rebound comes, puts it in, and a timeout Duke with 10.2 to go. 75-72, Arkansas. Okay, now to inbound, Arkansas with a three-point lead. 10.2 seconds remaining. Jim, you gotta think of who you'd want to foul here. Everybody that's gonna catch it, pretty good foul shooter, particularly a McDaniel out there. Corey Beck is back in the game, bandaged up. Jim, here is the play of the game. Lang going out on Thurman. Scotty goes up, realizes Lang a great shot blocker. Look at the arch on that, and there's the zero, and right down through the hoop. Sensational play as a great jump shooter altered his shot above the defender. Ooh. This is huge right here. Because Duke could tie with a three. A made shot here makes it two possession game. McDaniel, one more. Clark, too much time, too much time. Great defense, Arkansas, and they take it away. McDaniel will end it in style. Arkansas is in hog heaven. They've won the first ever national championship.